it's Ty Buck and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going over everything I got at the Sephora Spring Sale. So I may have gone a little bit cuckoo bananas getting everything I set my eyes on, but, 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 but I have an explanation, okay? So my birthday just happened, so I got a couple of Sephora gift cards for my birthday. So with my Sephora gift cards on top of the sale, I was able to get a lot more than I usually did. Like the gift cards covered half of my purchase, so that is the reason why you're gonna see a lot more than I usually do. I really try to be conscious on my uh, purchases and only get stuff that I know I'm gonna use or like things that are I get some splurge items, but like splurge items that are like, yeah, I may use it once or twice, but it's something I'm really, really going to enjoy using, you know? So I try to be uh, self-aware and not overindulge, but I did not overindulge just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. And you know, sometimes that's okay. Sometimes that's okay. So let's start off with the skincare stuff I got and just like the stuff that's non-makeup because I'll be putting the makeup stuff on on camera for you guys, but the skincare stuff's a little bit different to put on. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is my birthday gift. I got the Tatcha birthday gift. So the Tatcha gift comes with the Rice Wash Soft Cream Cleanser. It's kind of small, but wash face wash lasts a long time then um we have the liquid silk canvas i'm kind of disappointed this is so small because i was really excited to try this this is probably only going to be like a one use sort of thing so that's probably what they're hoping for you'll try the one use and be like ah yes perfect and then the last thing is the tatcha dewy skin cream and it's just in this little tiny tub very cute though so i'm excited to try that I, I was really happy that they included Tatcha as the birthday gift this year because I've always wanted to try Tatcha, but that's like way out of my price range. So that's the first items. I haven't tried any of them yet. Okay, next thing I got is the Necessaire deodorant gel. I got it in the fragrance free version because I have a sensitivity to fragrance. So I wanted to make sure I got something that, you know, wouldn't irritate my underarms further. I've tried the Kosas kind of like, um, uh, liquid deodorant that has like the AHA in it and I really like it but I wanted to try this one because it's a gel and it has I think it has a lower percentage of AHA and different um it has mandelic acid lactic acid and witch hazel water which I really am excited for because mandelic acid is really good for like dark spots and clearing up any like ingrown hairs I may have so this I hope is gonna be nice and it's in a nice thick glass bottle and it has a little roller ball on top of it. It also comes in a, a eucalyptus scent if you want a smell, but I prefer non-scented stuff because of fragrance sensitivity and then my perfume smells stronger when I use it. So I'm excited for this. It also has a pH level of 4.0, which I don't really know what that means, but a lot of things have been including their pH levels recently, so it's interesting to see. Next thing I got is, okay, actually the next three things I got are things I've tried previously. So these two, the KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub by First Aid Beauty and the OA Leave-In Conditioner, I got smaller versions of these a couple of months prior because I actually don't know how I ended up with this one. I don't know if I got it as a gift or Maybe, oh, it came in a birthday package, no, Christmas package. So that's where I got this, and I've been trying out the smaller version, and I'm halfway done with it, so I figured I might as well get the big version, and I really, really like this. My hair is kind of really damaged from bleaching and everything. I've just dyed it purple again recently. It's pretty dark purple, so I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but this really helps make my hair soft, and it helps maintain my curls when I want them to be curly. Like, this is my hair without product in it right now, but like, when I put this in, it really helps everything look proper. Then this, I got a smaller version of this because I was worried it was gonna irritate my skin. Physical exfoliation is not great for me because my skin is really sensitive due to like all the acne treatments I've done before, like on my face and then my skin on my body is just really dry in general, so it's sensitive. It's kind of like eczema prone, so I was worried about trying this, but I got the smaller version of it and I tried it for a couple of weeks and it's actually working really well. I have a lot of uh, ingrown hairs from shaving because again, my skin is sensitive, so shaving and exfoliation is like not great for my skin, but I figured it out with this. So this is really helping with everything 
my my legs have never looked better they have never looked better they are, look amazing <laughs> they're so nice and smooth and like I can shave without worries now I just use this once a week before shaving and amazing perfect next is I have the full version of this already it's the um, Olaplex number three it's the the hair perfector it's the one that it's like the main one you know so I got it in a set before that has the this and the hair mask and I really like this a lot because when I had my blue hair and I was going to blue I mean blue to purple my hair was absolutely fried like my my ends felt like straw so then I started using this and like I could literally see the healthiness return to my hair like it was going back to the way it was like I don't know if you can tell from my past videos to now but like my hair is looking luscious again looking silky smooth and lovely so I love this so I got another bottle of it it, it's a little bit pricey for the size of it and how much I need to use on my the thickness of my hair, but it works. So what can you say? So the next thing I got was kind of like an impulse buy, I must admit. So it is the Glow Recipe Glow Essentials by Michaela. Um, Michaela is a TikTok a uh, beauty guru she's really really popular and she's worked with a couple brands before so this is her collaboration with glow recipe and the reason i got it besides liking michaela's content is i really wanted to try the watermelon niacinamide drops and when i was in the store looking at the comparison between the just the drops on its own and then the pack it just made a lot more sense to get the pack because it was a better deal financially and I wanted to try the other products anyways so it's a great it's a great bargain in my opinion it has uh, the water nice in my glow drops the plum plump hyaluronic acid cream how do I open this this is secure this is the plum plumping plum plump hyaluronic acid cream it doesn't say acid part and then the last part i was i wanted to try this a lot i've had mixed reactions with things that have like added ceramides in it like a con concentrated formula of ceramides sometimes it breaks me out and then sometimes it works amazing so i wanted to try this it's the avocado ceramide recovery serum and i've heard it's pretty good at repairing like a damaged moisture barrier it's not focusing but it's a green bottle okay so i'm excited to try this i don't know um if it says on the back of the box how to, what order to do it in i hope i don't break out trying all of these new products ceramide recovery serum i'm trusting oh that's a lot i'm trusting michaela on this i think i have more trust in michaela too because my best friend's name is michaela spelt differently so I just have a lot of trust in Michaela's. If you see my skin getting red because I'm putting stuff on it, it's because that's how sensitive my skin is. Like when I'm doing stuff to it, it turns red. And if you see a little bit of dyeing on my hairline, that's because I just did my hair like the other day. Okay, I'm gonna do it in the order it recommends. Next is the plump plump the serum was really lightweight and i like it but it smells like a kind of like a drugstore sort of cream so it's not like a it doesn't smell high end to say i don't know how much of this plumping cream i'm gonna need because it feels a little bit thick Ooh, i don't know if you can see but it like jiggles when you touch it this one has a stronger fragrance which I'm a little bit worried about for breaking me out. But I have faith. Glow Recipe hasn't done me wrong before. So we're going to see how this does. I can kind of already feel a little irritation around my nose because that's where I get really sensitive, like cracks when it's really dry. But I'm looking really nice and glowy right now. Look at the glass sort of skin lovely feels really nice and soft and silky i like it i could do without the fragrance though oh i did it in the wrong order i did it in the order in my head and not the order on the box 
Oh well, we're doing it my way, I guess. My way, my way or the highway. I wonder how much of this I need. This smells like their classic watermelon. Watermelon product. The watermelon spray doesn't really irritate my skin, so I'm hoping the fragrance in all of this isn't going to be too bad. But I'm feeling really nice and dewy. And moisturized. My skin feels really, really soft. So I'm not really a huge fan of like face products, complexion products. I really focus on skincare to make my skin look the best it does. Usually when I do my face makeup anyways, I just do like concealer in certain spots and leave it at that. So, however, I have a wedding coming up and I'm gonna be a bridesmaid and I've decided to do my own makeup for it because I have plenty of makeup and I'll just like ease the load, I guess. So I've been starting to look at some complexion products I wanna try so I can look the best I can. So the first thing I got, which is something everyone always talk up, talks about, is the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. I just got a little tiny sample size. Even for this, it was like $15 though, and then plus the sale price, but like this is still a lot. So I wanted to try it before I, um, you know, committed to it. But apparently this can be like a primer underneath foundation or you can wear it without foundation. So I'm hoping I can just wear it without foundation and look flawless. So I got this in the shade medium, I think. Just a cute little applicator. I kind of hate putting stuff like just directly on my skin sometimes. But let's... I don't know how much I'm supposed to put on and if I'm supposed to blend it with the brush. Or if I can just go as I am. Should I use my fingers? Maybe a brush. Oh, I don't think I have a complexion. Oh, I do have a complexion brush down here. Okay, so this is another product I got during the sale. It's the Sai. Sai. Uh, I think this is the bronzer br brush, but I saw Michaela using it for her complexion stuff, and I thought it looked amazing, and I don't have co good complexion brushes, so I splurged for this. This was a, an impulsive splurge. When I was in the line, I was like, maybe I shouldn't get this. But I got it. And I've tried it a couple of times and I actually really like it. So let's let's blend out this flawless filter. Gosh darn it. I can see why everyone raves about this. It looks really nice. Like it looks really nice in person and on camera I look amazing. Oh man. I'm gonna be using this all the time and like it just spread out so nicely and like melted into my skincare so it just like it looks like my it looks like my skin I I can't believe I've been so skeptical because for the big size it's a big price so I was like ah, sometimes it's just the price and it's not very good to begin with I was wrong I was wrong this is amazing I'm gonna need a powder soon, but let's go into a color corrector I got. So I have really dark under eyes and up on top. Like I don't wanna just straight up wear concealer. So when I went to into Sephora to buy stuff, some of the stuff I got online and some of it I got in person, I asked, okay, what type of color corrector would you suggest for me? Because I think a color corrector may be a little, I don't know what it is in my head where I think a color corrector is different from a, a concealer or like it'll be more lightweight or something. But for some reason, I think a color corrector would be better. So I asked for a color corrector. We tried a couple in store and we settled on the Bobbi Brown uh, Skin Corrector Stick. And again, I was surprised by how light my skin was because I got the stereotypical bisque color. I thought I would have to like get a different sort of shade or something, but no, I'm the right in between. So I have tried this a couple of times and I really, really like it. And I like the balm form so I can just like dab it on on the go and like I don't have to use a brush or anything. So I'm gonna do this on my under eyes and on that spot on my chin and forehead just to cover those up a tiny bit. When she was trying it on me cause um, she wouldn't let me hold the stick myself and do it. She put a lot under my eyes and it looked very cakey and I was like, ooh, I do not like that at all. But then when she let me pat it in myself and like do it to the way I wanted it to look instead of the way she was applying it, I liked it a lot better. 
Also, when I went in, I was wearing powder, so she was putting it on top of powder, so that kind of affected the way it looked. But now that I've been able to work with it on my own, it's a lot better. I haven't tried this with the brush, but I think just using your fingers with it is probably what it needs because it just needs the warmness. So I'm pretty glowy right now. Let's see what happens if I powder and if maybe this is a good enough base. I probably need to like use a little bit more concealer to cover up my spots, but like otherwise, I don't know. This is looking pretty dang good to me. My standards low? I don't think so. I'm using high end stuff here. How are my standards low? I have noticed with this um, under eye corrector and stuff that you do need to powder it so it doesn't crease. Which isn't a big... No mirror. No mirror. Which isn't a big deal generally because I powder anyways. But just a little info for my pose. For my bows, my bugaboos. I look so youthful. Amazing. Okay, I am a, a blush fanatic. I love blushes. When I don't wear makeup, what I usually wear is blush, bronzer, and powder. I will not go without blush. I feel like blush is the centerpiece of any makeup look. Don't try me. Okay, so I got three different blushes. Originally, I was only going to get two different blushes because I wanted to get the Rare Beauty, the one that's in the pan, the little blush melt pan, but they were all sold out of that online and in store, so I had to compromise. So while I was in store, I saw this Soft Pinch Matte Liquid Blush. I have this in the color Joy, but then I got it in the color Faith because I wanted to try a more of a berry tone, but... Um, apparently berry tones aren't that popular because this was the only one left. So I'm kind of glad. So I got this. I'm not going to put this one on because I'm going to do, do a different blush, but I'll show you. It's very nice and purple. Nice and purple. And look at how much just comes off. How much is just on my hand from that little swatchy swatch. I like this a lot. It's like not a spring color, but it's amazing. So then, because I thought I compromised on this and just got this, when I was walking around, I was like, oh my god, that looks exactly like what I was looking for in the in the Rare Beauty pan sort of thing. I found the Rose Ink, um, what is this called? Blush Divine Radiant Lip and Cheek Color in the shade Dahlia. Let me just show you. Isn't that beautiful? On camera, it looks a little bit more red, but in person, it's like kind of, I think, no, it looks the same on camera. It's like, how do I describe it? It's like a bur, it's the color of my backpack that I wear everywhere. It's like a burgundy kind of, and it's really nice and soft. And this is what it looks like on my skin. It is gorgeous. But this is also not the color, the blush I'm going to be using today. I've been using this for the mirror though. I've tried this. I actually wore this blush on my last stream. And uh, uh, it's amazing. This is one of my other splurge items. It was an item I wasn't looking for to begin with. But then I saw it and I was like, how can I not? So I got the Pat McGrath Labs Bridgerton. Bridgerton. Divine Blush and Glow Trio Love at First Blush. Blush plus highlighter. So I've really always wanted to try Pat McGrath, but they've been kind of like outside of my budget for a while. But because of the sale, I was like, oh, I can try Pat McGrath blush. I've heard so many great things about Pat McGrath blushes. But then when I was looking at the single Pat McGrath blushes versus this palette, this palette is a, a much better deal. And it has the, the shade of the blush I was looking for anyways. This is what it looks like. The camera's kind of washing it out, but the first blush was like the shade I was looking for, so I just got the palette and I got three for one, basically. So I'm going to put this blush on today and maybe do the highlighter. You know, I kind of expected this to be like a metallic sort of box, but it's cardboard, which I don't, I can't lie, I am a little bit disappointed about. But it's so beautiful. I just think... For the price it is and the brand, maybe it could have been a little bit 
better. There was a film on this that scared me. Ooh! That is precious. I love that. Good enough for me. Should I add like a dash of this color? Maybe. Maybe just to soften it a little bit. Oh, that's more of like a peachy shade. Am I rude off the red nosed reindeer? A tiny bit. But who said that was a bad thing? Hmm? Beautiful. Bonita. Okay, let's try the little highlighter. I'm kind of worried I got a little bit lot on here. Holy moly, I got too much on here. But oh my god. I love it so much. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can see how beautiful this is on camera, but like the payoff is, it's like champagne. Like if you can imagine what champagne feels like and then look at that feeling as an image, that's what it looks like. Oh my lord. I want to bathe in this. <laughs> okay, so I'm very excited about that purchase. I think I did great on that purchase. Next, we have three more things, if you can believe it. Okay, so I was really excited that these were on sale because I've been eyeing them since they came out, but I couldn't justify getting them because I have so much lipstick. But I got two of the Zodiac uh, color lip stories, uh, the Sephora lip stories. So I got Pisces, which is my sign, and then Sagittarius. I think I'm a Sagittarius. It's one of my three. Let me look, it up. Look, let me look at my co-star. My Pluto is in Sagittarius. I have a lot of Aries and Pisces placements and a couple of Aquarius placements. Pluto and Sagittarius. Pluto stays in each sign for up to 30 years, meaning it rules a generation more than a person. It rules power, intensity, obsession, and control. Your Pluto is in Sagittarius, meaning your generation's psyche is comparatively positive, free-spirited, curious, optimistic, forward-looking, and independent and confident. Pisces is like 10,000% my color. I love this lip color. It's like a peachy nude and it's a matte. Oh no, it's a cream. It's a cream color. And then on the bottle, it has, you know, the constellation and then the fish. Sagittarius. Oh, on here, it has imaginative, artistic, and compassionate on Pisces. For Sagittarius, it has funny, honest, and outgoing. And this is the model. has the sign. I can't spin it and then the constellation and then this is a beautiful metallic kind of uh, burgundy mauve I'm not good at describing colors I just know what colors look like you know this I've wanted ever since it came out like I was gonna ask for it for my birthday but then I saw those for sale was coming up so I was like I can get it myself so I got the Fenty Beauty I got the the icon case I think it's called Fenty Icon, I got the lipstick case, and then I got the lipstick too. So the shade I got was, oh my god. What is the shade I got? Flaunty Auntie, that's the shade I got, Flaunty Auntie. So it's really nice brown with like a little bit of a red undertone. I like it. I've tried this one a lot and it looks, it looks really good on my skin tone, I must say. But I'm not going to wear this one right now, I don't think. Yeah, I don't really have a brown look going on here. But I love this case a lot. It's just like, it feels so luxurious. Just... <laughs> it's a little bit hard to like pull out once you pop it, but... Who can complain? It's Fenty. And like the shape of the lip is... I have a Cupid's bow too, not as pronounced as Rihanna's. But this, this tip is perfect. I love it. Ah, feels so luxurious. Okay, 
This is the last thing I got. I saw it on uh, TikTok and someone was like, this is the perfect Euphoria lips gloss. So I was like, yeah, it is. So it's the Sephora Glossed Lip Gloss in the shade Wild. And it's a very pretty like iridescent kind of opalish shade. It has blue and purple reflex reflections in it. That's how you say it. So I think I'm gonna pair these two together, the Pisces and the Wild Gloss. It's a little bit... Seeing it, I'm not sure if I like it. It smells like peaches though, or oranges. It smells good at least. Let's put some gloss on it. In person, I can kind of see the reflection, you know, the sparkles, but on camera, I don't know if you can tell. But I'm very satisfied with every single thing I got. I got a lot, but like, I don't think I got any misses. Like, I'm very picky with the things I got. So let's finish off the look. I brought down um, eyeliner and mascara so we can look completed. This is all the products I've got at the Sephora 2022 Spring Sale. I will have all the products listed down below. They're all from Sephora, so you know where to find them. And if you have any questions or you want me to try anything else in the future, feel free to leave a comment down below. I hope you guys uh, satiated your shopping hunger through me. So maybe you can save a little bit of money. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Love you. Bye.